call me crazy, but the term personal responsibility isn't a term that makes me jump up for joy. It doesn't make me happy, excited, fulfilled, and I don't find it sexy or appealing necessarily. Unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to put it, it is something very necessary for life. Oftentimes when we think of the term personal responsibility, we think of things like if you have cheated on your wife because she had cancer and you found a babe that was more attractive and then you impregnate her and it caused a big mess, you got to take personal responsibility. Or perhaps if you have stolen something or if you didn't do your homework, you need to take personal responsibility. So oftentimes we see it in a very negative sense. Someone's wagging their finger, you've got to take personal responsibility, personal responsibility. It's like a shameful thing, taking personal responsibility. But guess what? There's good news. There's a bright side of personal responsibility. Once, after I went to one of my friend's churches, at the church, they said something that really stood out. They said this, the Holy Spirit doesn't come into your life. You make a decision to meet the Holy Spirit. Now, what is the ramifications of this? To me, it's not just a statement about the Holy Spirit, though they intended it to be that, but it's a statement about personal responsibility. When a lot of people say the Holy Spirit comes into my life and makes my life so much better, and that person is essentially saying some outside force is responsible for my good life now. But in reality, what they were saying in the sermon is you are responsible for that. And that got me to think about a series of events that were really good in my life. I met somebody. And that, to me, led to something really great. And I said, hey, that person changed my life. You've probably met people who have changed your life. A teacher, a coach, a boss, a mentor, or maybe someone you don't even know. But did they really change your life? Did that person really change my life? I concluded, no, they did not change my life. Because after all, how many other people interacted with that same person and they didn't have the same experiences? A whole lot of people. They may have perceived that person in a different way. In my case, it was a chick. And just imagine there were people such as a horny guy who would see her in one way. Maybe somebody who was racist would see her in another way. And the way I saw her was an opportunity to lead to something better in my life. So take personal responsibility because there's a bright side to it. When you want to say, so-and-so changed my life, did they really change your life? Did that teacher really change your life? How many other students did that teacher teach? And their life didn't end up like yours. So you did play a part in it, and you changed your life. Take personal responsibility.